as part of our research in the book arts lab, we began to get quite interested in sort of the origins of paper making and um, in the hand press period, paper was made from recycled linen rags and linen was made from the flax plant. So we at the lab here started to think about, well, what if we grew flax in the campus community garden? Our projected yield, now um, we had started thinking we might get 10 pieces of, small pieces of paper, but I think we're probably um, looking at somewhere around 100 small sheets. So um, what's important to understand is the flax sort of grows tall, um, you pull it up by its roots, and then you have to use something called a flax break, which we have in the room next door, to break its fiber. Then you comb it to sort of get the fiber even more ready um, to be used. Um, and then uh, you have to sort of break it down further, um, and then you have to beat it to in, into this pulp. And so you do have a lot of, um, uh, you do have some wastage. I think the rewarding part was sort of when we were finally able to cast some sheets, you know, and actually see these pieces of paper and realize we had taken them all the way from seeds, you know, to sheets, um, if you will. That, that was rewarding because we really didn't know if they would grow. We didn't know um, if their fiber would be strong enough. Um, all, all those kinds of things. This was a new project for us and neither, neither my research partner nor myself nor the students um, you know, had ever grown flax for paper making. So I think that that was the most rewarding part is when we sort of cast our you know, first set of sheets and sort of held them up to the light and we could see the fiber and understand that we had sort of labored as part of the process. And it also brought us kind of, again, very close to kind of land and plants and thinking about kind of the, those ecosystems and our own in which paper, paper place, um, you know, has this important place.